Okay, so this is our second account adjustment, which is depreciation. Except for land, most of non-current assets decrease in value once they are acquired. Reporting non-current assets at their, at their acquisition price in the financial statements may not reflect the true value of the assets and it can seriously mislead the user of the financial statements. Therefore, except for land, the value of the non-current assets to be reported in the statement is always much lower than their value at the time they were acquired. So why do, we, why do the non-current asset value decrease and what are the causes of the depreciation so we have five causes here that you need to know uh, because it's often asked in your final exam the first one is wear and tear this is where uh, the asset that we have uh, the value decrease because we use them yeah? barang tu akan lusuh bila kita guna dia yeah? this is what we meant as wear and tear Okay, the second reason is due to technological obsolescence. This is referring to the machine or equipment that you have that's already using the last year or 10 years ago uh, program. Uh, and, and because of its obsolescence, the value is no longer as when it was first came out. Okay. The third reason is due to physical factor. This is referring to when the asset that we have experience accidents for motor car example or uh, for building that your, your building experience a natural disaster such as flooding landslide that caused the value of the building itself to be reduced the fourth reason is due to the efflections of time so this is referring to any assets that has a time period that you need to adhere for example like let's say that you have a patent you hold a certain pattern on your product and usually the pattern that we hold we need to renew them each time eh? once once the pattern expires yeah so the pattern itself is subject to the time the time uh, period given to them so at its nearing to the expiration date the value will be decreasing that's what it meant by effluxions of time for the depletion, it's referring to the resources within your asset itself. Yeah? Contohnya, awak ada tanah. Dalam tanah tu ada banyak mineral. Biji timah, kegang, apa tu, uh, bauxit, ke apa apa lah. Okay, so your your mind, your your mind, the whole of your mind, lombong awak tu adalah asset. So bila resources tu semakin berkurangan, semakin depleting, depleting, yeah? then the value of the mind itself will be reduced. So we have two methods that you can use. One is the straight line method. The second one is reducing balance method. Okay, the formula is given to you here. So straight line method is simple. Uh, let's say you have the, the value of the car is 50,000. And you expect it to have a useful life for five years. Our expect our guna kereta tu lima tahun saja. So maksudnya setiap, setiap tahun awak akan depreciatekan 10,000. So after fifth year, the value of asset becomes zero. Okay, salvage value here is referring to the the value if you sell off your asset as scrap. Contohnya as kereta, kalau awak dah guna habis dah kereta tu, okay, it's already out of its useful life. And then, but you can still sell off the the car uh, as a scrap value. Yeah, but any less scrap sahaja lah. I mean, you get around 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 base or whatever is left after you use up the assets. Okay. Uh, the bottom line is the depreciation value under the street line method will be constant every year. But for reducing balance method, the formula here is that we uh, the question will give you a depreciation rate. Kada, susu nilai, 10%, 20%, 15%, 5%, 5% depends on the questions. And it times on the residual value. Cost minus accumulated depreciation, we call that as a residual value. Okay, as a, as a residual value. And thus, the depreciation value will be decreasing. So, tahun pertama ber depreciation awak paling tinggi, tahun terakhir dia akan jadi paling rendah lah. The value of depreciation will be decreased.
Okay, we look at some example for further understanding. Alright, let's say that you have an equipment which was purchased on 1st January 2016 and it is depreciated using straight line method. The cost of the equipment was 17000 with a savage value of 2000 The asset has an estimated useful life of 3 years. Yeah, of 3 years. So how do we calculate this? So we take the cost of the asset minus the scrap value. We divide by 3. So you get uh, every year you're going to depreciate the item 5,000 ringgit. Okay, so what's the general entry for this? You should debit depreciation because depreciation is an expense. Depreciation is an expense, so you should debit the depreciation. Okay, but if you have like three different assets, you need to open three different uh, depreciation accounts. Let's say you have an asset equipment, motor, vehicle, and plant and furniture and fitting. So you need to have three different depreciation accounts for equipment, for motor vehicle, for uh, fitting and uh, furniture and fittings. So you credit to the a new account, you need to open a new account which is called as an accumulated depreciation. Yeah. So when you open the T account, okay, kita debitkan and then kita creditkan di sini. So you close off the account for 2016 when you open the new account for 2017, you have an opening balance of 5,000 from the previous year's depreciation. And then you charge another 5,000 for 2017 depreciation. And then you should get uh, at the end of the year, the accumulated has become 10,000. That's what it meant by the word accumulated yang terkumpul. Bapakah susun nilai terkumpul awak? Okay. Uh, 10,000. So on the 2018, okay, you uh, charge another 5,000 for your depreciation, and thus after third year, uh, the balance carried down for your accumulated depreciation has become 15,000. So the 2,000 left is the amount that you should get when you sell off your uh, equipment at 2,000. Okay, for an example of reducing balance method, okay, so you can see in year one, okay, formula yang apa tadi, this depreciation rate times with the cost minus the accumulated depreciation. But for the first year, there is not yet any accumulated depreciation because you just started your depreciation activity. So, tolak dengan kosong lah. So, 20,000 tolak dengan kosong sebab tak ada accumulated depreciation. So, for first year, your depreciation will become 4,000. So, debit depreciation 4,000. Awak credit accumulated depreciation 4,000. For the second year, yeah, for the second year, uh, you look at 20,000. Here, times with the Cost minus the accumulated depreciation. So at the beginning of 2017, what is our accumulated depreciation? It's 4,000. So 20,000 tolak 4,000 dalam 20%, awak akan dapat 3,200. So debit depreciation 3,200. Credit uh, accumulated depreciation 3,200. So kita punya accumulated depreciation dah jadi 7,200. For the third year, Okay, cost or like accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation at the, at the beginning of the 2018 was 7,200. So, awak tolak, awak akan dapat 2,560. Okay, so debit depreciation 2,560. Credit kan, accumulated 2,560. So, that's the end of the depreciation. Alright. Um, next one, we're going to cover... Uh, accounting for receivable, yeah, account receivable. Kita akan belajar pasal drop food debts, debtors, and bad debts. Okay, I'll see you next video lecture.